Mr. David. Vero. Okay. So you you have heard my intro. I don't want to go over my intro again. But what do you do to be in your generation? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um I want you like give me a direct question on a specific matter so that what what do you think is the reasons why nobody values a lot a lot just do value um Morals, you know, things we took in very high esteem in our time. Morals, hard work, patience, you know. In those days, we used to do things for people free of charge. We serve. But this generation, everything is like, you know, they are, I'm a good thing, I'm a good thing. Everything, money, money, money. And a lot, a lot are already into drugs at very young age. And a lot are already into um, sexual promiscuity also at a very young age. It's like yeah, everybody is starting. Sharp, sharp. No one is looking again. No, in our days, we say, oh, we are 18 years old, you know, we are adults. But these days, we, we don't even get to them anymore. So, what do you, why do you think it's like that? Okay, personally, um, I would say the matter of patience, as you said, this generation really don't wait. We don't have that patience at hand. And times are changing in the sense that persons are not longer waiting to get those things that the previous generation waited for and things are happening online we see so many things like <laughs> stuff like that and everybody are eager persons are seeking for value at a very early age are seeking to be very wealthy i wonder who the at 20 it was new that enumelu is using do you know how, how old tony enumelu is do you know how many years they have been in the business of finance, the UPA, you know, Transcorp, Group, and all of that. I want someone who wants to drive the car he's driving. Like, I don't understand. This man has worked for like 40, 50 years of his life. And somebody that is not born, he does not want to go through the shortcut. What, why? Why is mentality like that? Like I said, we don't have patience. We don't have patience. But just as the Bible said, the Bible said patience is virtue. So... Having patience, it's very vital. Man, I'm very sure. It's very sure. Cool question I'll be asking you. What's with the sexual promiscuity? Nowadays, what I get for nobody, nobody, uh, your, your parents will kill you. So you have that fear in you that even That's true. if you in the university, but people don't school children nowadays. I remember that last thing for me. A lot of them just ask, yeah, there's a boy in my class I like. There's a boy in this and that. Bro, I, I'm like, bro, this is not what people are thinking. So why is it like that? You see that there is, yeah, I'm suspecting that maybe it's Nigerian things. Because okay. a lot of them, of the movies now, you see secondary school children. Secondary school settings. Yeah, secondary school settings, yes. We love, 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 love. love. So that's the only thing. What, why, why is it like that? Okay, but let me start with the media. Nowadays, personally, we have contents all over the web and they are all suggesting, they are all giving this ideology of normalizing boyfriend and girlfriend, sexual immoralities and other perversions and everything. Also with the matter of the human body on its own, we have ranging hormones and there are certain ages where we get to, yeah. that these hormones begin to, yeah, begin to, sure. and most of us don't really know how to control it. And seeing that we're in a media age, Okay, so the likelihood that there's also poor um, uh, orientation, poor positive orientation. Exactly. Watching, a lot of people are watching Nigeria films. And that's what it is like. Now, it's the most annoying is people in Nigeria. Uh, I personally, and it's not advisable for a Christian to watch bro Big Brother Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, I want to Big Brother Nigeria. Just stop. There's a problem. There's a serious problem, though, because... You can't, if, no matter how strong you are, you cannot avoid it. Imagine staying from June, is it June to September, almost three months, and they play it every day. People talking about, ah, this guy, this boy, this boy, ah, 
and what? movies nowadays they are all giving this ideology normalizing all this stuff you see nigerian movies they talk about boyfriends they talk about love they talk about sex related stuff you see white movies even if it's action just yeah. in between the actions so before you know it now, are not anymore. sincerely in our time i can say okay if you're watching jack chan now it's all action movies you he jumping here he's jumping here he's jumping here he's jumping here like it was so but movies from like 2020 we're just <laughs> like i can't watch a split movie and you can't. everything is clear there's yeah. always a small clip that has yeah. sexual related stuff or boyfriend related movies yeah, are not that, clear everybody's watching the media actually has serious power i think I, i'm beginning to get the grasp of it so because during our time now that was when the industry was still involved in. but now the the stuff has reached full-blown states and that's why people are now growing so i think they are shoving it into your throat by force like this is, the, this is how they want to shape the generation okay okay i think i get the media so, but what do you think is the way out how do you think is the way out? Because somebody might be watching that is really having this question that this answer will help. Okay. I read this book by Josh McDowell. Um, the, the book titles Help Your Child Say No to Sexual Pressure. Okay. And reading the entire book, what I picked key from that book is what, what the book again? Um, Help Your Child Say No to Sexual Pressure. Okay. And one of the things I picked key from that book was, okay, first things first, um, seeking to know it's really the only way out of every situation in the sense that it kills that ignorance. And as soon as you're enlightened, that's all. Now, what I picked from this book was a proper edu educated mind on sex-related issues and immorality will help someone take a step forward into overcoming it in the sense that families properly educate their children they are aware of these things yeah. and when they approach them they are not ignorant of it they have a way of overcoming it True. and also often at times you see teenagers going to boyfriends and girlfriends and all these things but really what they're actually looking for it's a particular kind of love that they are missing at home mm. so to a degree they are not giving this attention all they are seeking to be loved to be appreciated yeah, yeah. some other things also um add to it you have prayer projects where while reading the book there was this part where i spoke about persons that have done the sexual immoralities they tease their friends calling them chicken that they've yeah. not done it that's prayer pressure yeah. and some other and they don't know that the reason why they are like because they actually have regrets and they don't want to be the only one in that regret exactly they want you to join them yes so they try they tease you but if you know if you have the knowledge like you said you will understand that ah, this one is saying it from a place of pain not because they exactly. really enjoyed anything okay wow that's 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 very enlightening i think a lot of us should actually get that book and you know read it to be of course knowledgeable exactly. and also i feel like somebody was telling me the other day i'm trying to remember once you 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 are aware you not just take whatever you are giving not drink it, you yes. see this out. Somebody says this is good, this is good. No, you see this out. We are believers, see it out from the Christian point. What 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 does Bible say about this? What is God saying about this? Why should I do? Then also from for that validation aspect, parents, siblings, show love to your siblings. Don't let them go out and play. Tell your children I love you. So that one boy will not tell your your sister I love you outside and she will die to scatter. <laughs> No, don't do that. Show them love, affection. Cannot go out. Stay while you have brothers, you have sons. Show them affection, show them love. So that, because there are some people, it's only guys that tell girls. Girls also tell guys. So say, ah, how are you? Don't no, rub your, your, your shoulder, you know. So, and some people are sent to, from the pit of hell. That's why, like Joseph. Joseph is our prime example. Whenever there's temptation, don't do so they to run, mm -hmm. run master. Flee! Flee is like run times ten. <laughs> flee! After flee is fly. So it's in between. Have you watched all those uh, cartoons? Do you run into <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> So run for your dear life, okay? Okay, so my last uh, this thing. Is there I don't want to use the word redemption. Is there hope for a gentleman? 
I know that no matter what, there's always a remnant. Exactly. Because during my time, I was thinking I was the only one that asked them. But then, when I grew up, I now met people too. That we had... What's your answer? Why are you asking? Why are you asking? Don't mind the chapter. It's beautiful. So, but there were, there were a lot of people who had the same mindset. But it's just that we are scattered. It's just that when uh, Elijah was saying, yeah, I'm the only one, because they are very, very, I have seven thousand of that prophet guy. It's not only you. So, is there hope? And is it the times we do maybe? Because even if Christians don't, we still have stuff that is happening. Yeah, yes. and those people now are like idols, they are trendy. So, like, uh, um, there are some in the industry now that is in this your song, that in their, in, their, in their videos, you have people wearing skin pieces. Gospel, uh, and this and um, gospel acting sort of, yeah. Some of them now are pastors. You get so is there really hope? Because if they now confuse the entire generation, even as Christians, because those ones we are we are in church, we are serving God, we are called Christians, and all of that. So do you think there is that redeemable? I don't know. I don't know how to do it, but is there hope? Uh, there's hope. There's hope. <laughs> I would always make reference to looking at a, looking for a personality, one that is redeemable and one that is worthy of mentorship. I personally love of my father in faith, Bishop David Oedebu. If you really look at his past histories and how he started, and if you listen to his current lives, it's hard for you. To, he hardly preached on the matter sexual immorality. Because it's not even a thing to think of. Mm. Then of those days, those were men or that were focused. Mm. They had their visions and aspirations all in mind. Those yeah. were the things that they were clouded with. And the so, of distraction. This exactly. Of distraction, yeah. So look for a personality that is redeemable and worthy and look up to. Yeah, I believe there's hope. I believe there's hope. But God has his way of and preserving a sense himself. Yes, things exactly. happen. That's true. Things happen. And the media too does not publicize good things. Yes, so you will never see publicity of good things, only bad, bad things. Sincerely. But it doesn't mean the good things are not happening. Okay? Okay. And this is also a very important call for everyone out there because I know that very sure God is laying a lot of things in all of our hearts. And we should not hesitate to get on the media and have them published. Like, we should not hesitate as they are also uploading their, their own, also, also doing the same thing. And of course, light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. That is the truth. So, we should not hesitate. We should go for the media and have all our ideas published. Thank you so much for. Coming. Thank you so much, guys. I'm sure you had a very wonderful time. If you have any questions, definitely we'll have our we'll have you on again by God's grace. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and we'll keep you know praying to that God will help us all our ideas. God will support us. If you are listening, because I have viewers from Saudi Arabia, from Ghana, different places. If you are listening anywhere in your corner, and it seems you are alone, it seems like you are alone. Um, you are not the new. You are not the new. So, some, some are in Pakistan. They feel like, ah, there was one who posted a question. I'm a Pakistani Christian. I'm a Pakistani Christian. It seems like I'm alone, blah, blah, blah. You are encouraged. You are not alone. And the thing is, we always pray for ourselves. Sometimes when you pray a personal prayer, someone else somewhere is praying for you. I don't know. You get So, make sure you keep the faith. Pursue after God. Keep yourself busy with knowing God. That's the problem. Some are I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. And I do mind with the devil workshop. Give yourself busy. Pick a pick an instrument that you want to learn. Pick a a career that you want to start doing. For example, as an artist, you want if you want to start but then tell us it takes ten thousand hours to be good at anything you are doing. That's it. So how do you get your ten thousand hours? I said ten thousand hours, not one thousand hours. So it means even if you do one thousand hours in a year. You will need 10 years. So what if you start early? You start playing guitar at 17, at 14, at 15. In 10 years, in fact, you'll be a professional. 
That's then true. you have your life. But if you destroy your life with sexual uh, promiscuity, with so many things, you are taking drugs, you are frying your brain, you will be focused. By the time you are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, you will just be confused. I've, I've seen people in their 40s who are confused. Some of them used to be drunkards and all. Frustrated. They are single, no business, no career, no hand skills, nothing. So keep building. I personally started all this content stuff at in 2019. I had this stuff like that earlier and we're still going. So imagine we didn't have anything. Today we are not where we used to be, even though we are not where we want to be. Yet. So we are all still in process. But the question is, where will you start your process? If you are busy serving the devil and donating your energy to the devil, when will you start your process? So if you are out there listening, do well to make sure you grow in faith. Then I also advise pray. There are some things that feels sometimes our hearts are broken. Pray. Yes. Sometimes you cry, pray, trust God. Sometimes yeah. you actually be things you are embarrassed. You feel like men are suffering. But my, my friends over there have money. They are saying, yeah, no, 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 no. Pray. I trust the Lord to cover the friend I have. Thank you all so much for watching. Do well to subscribe, like, share. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Hello everybody and welcome to Mavic Vibes. Alright, so today we're going to be having a very wonderful session.